Creative Grove. I'm Ingrid Blackburn, your Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and today I'm going to teach you two-step stamping. Okay, so to get started, I'm going to take a piece of 8.5 um, by 11, cut it in two, to create two long pieces of cardstock. I'm going to fold one in half, and this is going to be my card base. All right. And then I have a couple other pieces. I've got a piece of um, 3 and 5 eighths inch Whisper White cardstock by 4 and 7 eighths and 5 inches by 3 and a 3 quarters. We're going to take um, the stems of our flowers. We're going to ink that up in Wild Wasabi. And then we're going to go ahead and just place that in kind of the center but just slightly off to the left. I'm just going to let it adhere down for about three seconds, get a good image. And this, what I like about this image is it's not perfect, so don't think that that's you. That's a perfectly um, inked up image. I love images like that because we don't always get it perfect, and it's nice when it's supposed to look that way. Two-step stamping basically takes two images to create one. So you have the background image here, and then you also have um, a more of a highlight. Now, I'm going to use just the same ink pad, but you can get the same effect with using two different shades. So let's say um, a little bit of a darker shade. I'm using Calypso Coral today. So I'm going to show you how to do this with just one ink pad, more cost effective. So I'm going to take the background stamp, which is um, a little bit more of a softer image. I'm going to ink it on the paper. It's called Stamping Off, and then straight onto my image onto my sheet of paper. And then we're going to take this one, which is more of the highlight or spotlight, if you will, and go straight on so you can see the two-tone effect. And what's great about what's great about two-step stampin' is you don't really have to be perfect. If you mess up, it's okay. And that's one of the reasons I do love it. I think that we need more two-step stampin' images. See, I stamped that a little lower than the other image, but it's all right because there's some white in there already, so it looks like it belongs. You would never know that unless I told you that. Now I've got my saying, and this set comes with two sayings. It comes with your two kind and sending good thoughts your way. And I'm just going to pop that right here in the bottom corner. Well, there you go. Quick and easy. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to adhere this to my early espresso. And I've tried this with a few other colors, which I will show you. And I decided that the early espresso is the best pop for this. I'll show you what I mean. So get that on there. And I'm going to go ahead and then put some Stampin' Dimensionals to pop this up. I'm going to use at least five so I can get that center up as well. backs off. And this goes onto our white, just to raise that up. And there you go. You've got a great little card. Now here's one without any embellishments, and here's one where I added just three little pearls. You can see what a great difference that makes. I also have one that I did in Cameo Coral and one that I did in Wild Wasabi, which are the three colors. I did choose my three colors based off our new color coach, which was my number one thing that I needed out of the new catalog. Uh, I cannot pick colors. It's not a talent of mine. So you can see here, if you had to choose between them, I would definitely say this one. It's the least amount of color in your project, and that's why the pop. See here you have a lot of cameo coral, so it kind of overwhelms it. Same thing here, a lot of wild wasabi. It's definitely this one for the pop. And of course, the very last thing that we're going to do on here, this is our new casual background stamp. And I just chose a letter, and then I put an original by Ingrid Blackburn and my blog website. How cool is that? I love it. This is a great new stamp. So I hope you had fun stamping with me today. Thanks for stopping by the Creative Grove. Have a great day. Bye-bye.